You know, for years, lift chairs and groomed trails have dictated where we've snowboarded. I feel like my whole life as a snowboarder was to prepare me for smaller, weaker, and now shorter. Once we figured out that we could split our snowboards and skin to these remote places, that really changed the game for us. We had a desire to really focus on those lines that take days or months to prepare for. And as soon as we were able to commit to hiking and camping for long periods of time, it really opened up a whole new world of mountains. Base camp, this is Summit Team. We seem to run into a bit of a problem. We're 125 clicks from Squaw Valley. Looks like the fjord has opened up. Our sleds are stuck. We're gonna have to bivy here for the evening. We're getting better at figuring out how to get to more obscure places, figuring out the logistics and the necessary equipment, and understanding the processes that are needed to go and ride these hard to reach unridden zones. What up guys, where are you headed? Deeper higher. Huh, well, good luck. I've been dreaming of this my whole life. May we please get two Vente orange mocha frappuccinos, please? Everything about it just told me that you've never been to a place like that before. These are the heaviest mountains I've ever been in. Oh, it's gnarly. It's tough to be out here in these remote environments. You can only bring so many modern conveniences. It's all about stuff management. There's no denying the fact that it takes a lot to be out here. These are some of the shortest lines we've ever tried to climb. If you're not humbled here, you die here. I had a personal battle up there, man. Uh, I think I just pissed myself. When everything lines up perfect, we get to stand on top of these beautiful mountains and bomb down them. The ultimate goal of these projects has always been about getting away from the crowds and going deeper into the wilderness where we can experience true solitude.